What's up, Bazza Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another <laughs> thinker. Okay, I'm still in the classroom. It's the end of the day, and I had tutorials. So, I'm in a classroom with one of my students, right? And we finished up and everything. And we were reading something one week, and I think it was about grilled cheese or something. I was like, you know, y'all know. Don't play with me. You better Google me, boo. You know I make everything good. You know I do. Okay? So, he told me how he makes his grilled cheese sandwich. And I was like, baby, you haven't lived until you had one of my grilled cheese sandwiches, okay? So, you know, I just been playing with I was like, we're going to make grilled cheese one day. We're going to make grilled cheese. So, as you know, I'm packing up the house. I found my little grilled cheese maker. Maker. So, I was like, bet. That next Monday is all we're gonna make a grilled cheese sandwich, right? But the way he makes his, so he puts his bread in a toaster. I mean, there's more than one way to skin a cab. That's how he makes it. He likes it's good, and it's a great to open your mind to learn new things, okay? So he puts his bread in a toaster and let it get a little toasty, right? Just a little bit. And then he puts the cheese in between the bread and then he smashes it together. And then he puts it back inside the toaster. I think that's quite ingenious and creative. And then I was like, baby, I'm going to show you how to make a real grilled cheese sandwich. And he was like, eh, 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 no, no. You know, you got to put the butter. But, you know, I do a little extra, okay? So let me show you how I make the grilled cheese sandwich. So, I already made one, so I put, this is little crumbs from the first batch. So, I put butter on it, because, you know, I want to work a little faster. And then I sprinkle a little bit of garlic salt, just a little bit, okay? Not too much. And if you really like garlic, then you could put, go in with some garlic powder. And, baby, let me tell you, if you really want to be fancy, you want to use sourdough bread. And then you put Parmesan cheese, Parmesan cheese on the outside, just to crust the outside. Baby, talking about good. And then I was like, oh, and we're going to put some ham up on there. Okay, so my sister teacher, Miss Anderson, she went and got the supplies for me. And she went and uh, bought the cheese and stuff for me because, you know, I was, oh, wait. I was having difficulties, okay? So, look. Let me put the, the bread on here, okay? So, we got one side down. You want to put your butter side down. Butter. You put your cheese. Okay? Don't worry about my desk. You put your cheese. And so the secret is we're going to put a piece of ham too. Why? Because that's our business. We want a little piece of protein up on there. So that's our business, okay? So we're going to put a piece of ham up on here, okay? But the secret is you then have to add a piece of cheese on top of the ham. The ham needs to be in between the cheese. Because that's going to be your glue, okay? So, see, see, like so, like that. Mm-hmm. Cause that's our business. And you can do turkey. You can do whatever kind of meat you want. But we doing ham because that's our business. Okay. So now this is the other side. So we're gonna put that down. And then the other piece that we had, just so we can work a little faster. Okay. And then we're gonna close this baby. I'm not gonna press it too tight this time. First time I pressed it tight. And then you let that get toasty. And then you cut it in like a triangle. Tri I don't know. Triangles make things taste better because it does. I don't know why. So that's how you make grilled cheese. I'm going to show you how it looks when it comes out. So I'm going to ask my student. I can't show his face. But don't lie. How was that grilled cheese sandwich? It was good. It was good? Good? Mm-hmm. So you think you have a new way to make a grilled cheese sandwich? Or are you going to stick to the toaster? You mm. may try this way. Yes, ma'am. So just put it on, the, on in a, uh, a little pan and don't let it get too hot and you can cook it slow. Okay? So we close it a little more and then it snap. And then when the light turns, then your, your stuff is ready. All right? I'm going to let y'all see the finished project. I had to show this baby how to do a grilled cheese. See, that's a special baby. He got the special VIP treatment today. Okay? <laughs> All right, guys, I'll let you see what it looks like when it's done. Okay, let's see if this thing is ready, ready. Don't worry about the mess, honey, okay? It's about the flavor and the, it's about the flavor and the taste of the food, okay? Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that golden, yummy goodness. Baby, 
you better ask somebody. Look at the melt on the cheese, the golden crust on the bread. Ooh, and look at that drip, baby. You know that's good. That's when you know it's good. Okay, let's see. Get this baby out. Mm hmm Okay. She trying to stick together. She trying to become one, honey. Baby, look at that. And see, you make not one, but two sandwiches at once. Look at that. Want me to make you another one? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Let me give this to Miss Casey, okay? Oh, she could, she could. So you get do that one. You don't do it. Okay, baby, this is how you do it, okay? So the next time you have a little grilled cheese maker, you throw some ham up in there, and you throw some garlic powder, garlic soil, honey, and it takes it to a whole new level. You better ask somebody. You better Google me, boo. All right, make sure you get this video a thumbs up because this is what we teach us too, okay? Sometimes we go above and beyond. Yes, we do. Yes! Okay, bye.